It's mid-March, and I'm on Cape Cod, and I've just stumbled upon an aggregation of ground nesting bees. These are cellophane bees, and they're actually the species that I study for my PhD. I'm Nick, and I'm a bee biologist, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about what they do and why they're here. Let's take a look. So early spring, male and female cellophane bees emerge from the ground. The males emit this uh, irresistible citrusy pheromone that the females are attracted to, and for about two weeks in early spring, in open sandy soils on slopes, the males and the females will mate with each other. After that, the females get to work building nests just like this. The nest opening is about the width of a pencil eraser, and females will sun themselves in the nest in early spring, and they'll sit there uh, and guard the nest from predators such as beetles and flies that are aiming to sneak their offspring into the bee's nest. Underground, the female digs a central shaft, uh, and off of that central shaft, she'll build several lateral offshoots. Each offshoot will contain just one offspring. Each offspring lives and develops inside of a chamber, also known as a cell. The female builds this cell by mixing saliva and a secretion from her, her abdomen to form a natural waterproof lining akin to cellophane, hence their name. She will fill this cell with a nutritious soup, pollen and nectar that she collects from maple trees and, and other spring flowers. Cellophane bees will often build nests in close proximity to one another. Nest densities within aggregations can range from one to more than 50 nests per meter squared. So if you see many of these nests uh, in close proximity to one another, chances are you have a cellophane bee aggregation in your yard. Often you'll see males like this one here, waiting outside the entrance of a female's nest. Finding a mate is a priority in spring, and this one apparently decided he'd try his luck elsewhere. As you're exploring the aggregation, you don't need to worry about getting stung. Male bees, like the one I have in my hand, don't have stingers. And female bees are really docile. Don't shy away as you're exploring your backyard from getting up close with these really fascinating creatures and seeing how they get their lives done. If you're wondering where to find cellophane bee aggregations, keep these tips in mind. Cellophane bees like nesting in openly vegetated sandy slopes that are south facing. They need the open vegetation to, to build their nests because they can't dig through sod or other uh, thatch. They need uh, the south facing slopes because they need to be warmed by the sun's rays in order to get enough energy to make those flights in cold temperatures of early spring. It's quite possible that you've never noticed a cellophane bee aggregation in your backyard. Cellophane bees are solitary and only have one generation per year. As such, the aggregations are only around for three to four weeks. In Massachusetts, you typically find cellophane bees nesting at the end of March and persisting until the end of April or early May. So get out while you can to see if you have these bees in your backyard. If you find them, take a photo and get in touch with me on Instagram or Twitter or iNaturalist. I'd love to hear what you find.